Plants make food and it starts with this. Photo, photosynthesis. Plants make food and it starts with this. Talking about photosynthesis. Plants make food and it starts with this. Photo, photosynthesis. Plants make food and it starts with this. Talking about photosynthesis. Every green plant in the kingdom planty produces food internally. They're autotrophs which synthesize the food. They need to stay alive. This begins with a two-part process known as photosynthesis. Both parts of this complex task take place in the chloroplast. The products synthesized in part one require lots of help from the sun. So first we'll take a look at what happens in the light-dependent reactions. Plants make food and it starts with this. Photo, photosynthesis. Plants make food and it starts with this. Talking about photosynthesis. The light reactions take place fast in the grana of the chloroplast. They're stacks of thylakoids which contain two photosystems in their membranes. Both photosystems, two and one, harvest light energy from the sun. But the first steps I'll explain to you occur in photosystem or PS2. An antenna pigment initially absorbs a photon's energy. This energy will resonate to the reaction center of PS2. The chlorophyll A called P680 becomes excited then rapidly it's an electron that is gained by the electron transport chain. This action takes place time after time, leaving electron holes behind. Plants make food and it starts with this. Photo, photosynthesis. Plants make food and it starts with this. Talking about photosynthesis. The P680 must replace all of the electrons that escaped. So water from the mesophyll gives its electrons to chlorophyll. The water gets split or photolyzed, which enzymatically provides protons, protons electrons, and, and oxygen. oxygen. Now other, other chemical actions begin. The electrons one by one refill the holes that were left in chlorophyll. The protons quickly take a place in the thylakoid luminous space. The oxygen atoms, two at a time, form oxygen gas as they combine. The oxygen isn't needed here, so it's released into the air. Plants make food and it starts with this. Photo, photosynthesis. Plants make food and it starts with this. Talking about photosynthesis. Now let's see what happened to the electrons that left photosystem 2. The electrons from photosystem 2 move down the transport chain and as they do, they lose energy, which is gained by cytochromes along the chain. Oil rig is the name of the game. Oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. The cytochrome B6F complex uses the energy it accepts to pump protons, which translocate from the stroma to the thylakoid space. As the protons are pumped and released, the proton gradient is increased. This process enhances, of course, the PMF or proton motive force. Some of the protons then head back to the fluidful stroma, and in fact, they leave the thylakoid luminous space through the enzyme ATP synthase. This is the chemiosmosis that powers ATP synthesis. As the protons pass through this enzyme, it spins around like a turbine. This releases energy which binds phosphate with ADP. This step for your information is photophosphorylation. When ADP and phosphate bind, ATP is formed. And keep in mind, it has a special job to do in the Calvin cycle or part two. Plants make food and it starts with this. Photo, photosynthesis. Plants make food and it starts with this. Talking about photosynthesis. Follow along as I explain what happens at the transport chain. The electrons in the transport chain are de-energized and must regain radiant energy from the sun, which they'll get at photosystem one. The electrons therefore make their way to P700 chlorophyll A, which absorbed the photon's energy at the same time as P680. And excited electrons that broke away from P700, but that's okay, cause a P680 electron arrives and takes its place to get re-energized. Now let's see what work is done by the electron that left PS1. The PS1 electron was gained by a short electron transport chain. Reactions occur, then it takes a place on NADP+. That awaits. The NADP+, gets reduced, and NADPH is produced, which has a lot of work to do in the Calvin cycle, or part two. So the products formed in the light add up to three, if we count them right. ATP, NADPH, and oxygen gas, the plant liberates. Part one is over, and as we
we've seen, the electrons traveled in a Z scheme. They call it Z, but then again, it looks more like a capital M. They call it Z, but then again, it looks more like a capital M. Plants make food and it starts with this Talking about photosynthesis 